Hey, all daddy folks, it is Doncast Fluffy here again. In today's video, we're going to be talking about, well, one of the coolest things in the 164 diecast market, the metal chassis and rubber wheel or tire, if you will, 164 NASCAR diecast here. We're going to be talking about these and we're going to be comparing these to the normal ARC. We're going to be talking about the things such as the price point. Is it worth it? We're about to figure out. So let's go ahead and hop into it. For over a decade, 164 NASCAR diecasts have been trapped with plastic wheels and plastic chassis. That changed this summer, with Lionel releasing a new line of 164 diecasts that shocked the market and its collectors. What is so cool about these new cars? Why all of the hype between everybody in the NASCAR universe? Well, let's start off with the basics. For the first time since 2010, way back in the COT days, 164 diecasts featured box variations, rubber tires, and metal chassis. These simple changes make all of the difference with NASCAR collectors becoming more and more picky, like myself, with the niche demographics. Increased diecast quality has been called for for many, many years, and Lionel, and thanks to our friends at Circle B Diecast, we finally have that once again. One of my favorite things about these diecasts is the feel. You really get a strong sense of quality with increased vehicle weight. It's like a tool. Do you want a lightweight hammer that's going to break on you, or do you want something with strong, rugged ability that's reliable? Immediately after opening it out of the box, you'll feel something so unique, something fans have wanted in just so many years guys these cars are changing the market as we know it and that is freaking fantastic now folks let's go over what many consider the best part rubber tires yes you heard that right when you roll a die cast you feel that grip within the wheels you feel th the quality it's almost like a 124 scale die cast when you compare it side by side it is truly incredible it absolutely blows my mind that one little change such as the tires could excite Thousands of collectors like me across the NASCAR universe. These tires are not just for looks. They have functionality as well. You can take these tires off, replace them with new ones, and add a whole new level to detail with the NASCAR stop motion. Could you imagine the detail you could get with a raced win custom? Absolutely. I mean, it's incredible, my dude. Imagine all your favorite drivers raced win 164s. Elliot, Kyle Busch. Kurt Busch, Ryan Blaney, anyone with actual rubber tires that are degraded. The detail is incredible that we can do now. The possibilities are endless. All right, fellas, let's be honest. Let's take a look at some of these cons here. Here's the thing. These are exclusive to select dealers, which means you can't pre-order. As soon as these things are released, well, you got to go get them. First come, first serve. They do cost 15 each. I know, fellas, I know this, but hear me out. They are only about 576 made of each one. That is ridiculously low. Boxes are fantastic with a darker, more modern design, which I think is genius. The light boxes are the ARC slash gold series, while the dark steel gray boxes feature what collectors are kind of coining the elite, the premium, or even metal chassis NASCAR 164 diecast. Now with all these things, let's find the pros and cons with this. While to most, that might be kind of a turnoff, let's have an open mind about this, fellas. No pre-orders obviously makes these cars so much harder to get with kind of the doorbuster mentality when you, as soon as they unbox it, you got to go for it, right? Very limited production quantity means your car is going to hold value. Think about it, those COTs, they made so little COTs in 2009, those things have shot up in value. You could find Kyle Busch cars from just five years ago that have shot up in value. They're making less and less die cast. That means the cars are going to hold more and more value. 576 is mostly a quarter of a Chase Elliott 124. Think about that for a second. And of course, the ARCs are $10 a pop, but if you think about it, only $5 more per die cast with huge difference in quality. These are not your traditional NASCAR Authentics cars you would see in your retail store. These are real collector pieces. They're even marketed as that on the box. It says adult collectible for a, a harmless M&M's die cast, right? These are real pieces, man. And I think most collectors, man, you might be on the fence, but these things are incredible. And it gets even better, folks. For every 164 die cast produced in the Gold Series, a Elite, if you will, or a Metal Chassis version, will get produced too. So that means every Chase Allen paint scheme, every Kyle Busch paint scheme, Truex, Kyle Larson, 
this is revolutionary. In a rinse and repeat market for the entire Gen 6 era, you know, no elites, no rubber tires, just the same plastic wheels and chassis. Well, guess what? This is something we should give a try. This is something entirely new we have not seen in a freaking decade. If you haven't picked up one, I highly recommend you do, especially with these selling fast. Remember, only 576 produced of each one. That's insanely low. Here's another uh, Larry McNugget, so to speak. In 2002, they made 50,000 164 elites of Michael Waltrip's patriotic car. He ran this paint scheme like once or twice in 02. They made 50,000 of the elites. That's not the winner's circle, George. We're talking the elites. Just put that in perspective. If you're still not convinced, here's a little help for you. Use the code DIECASTBUFFET and you'll get free shipping on any orders $20 or more at Circle B Diecast. So you can go throw in a cheap 164 and still get your metal chassis 164 diecast. You'll save a whole bunch. What do y'all think? Is this what you've all been waiting for? A new line of 164s with significantly higher quality? Are you excited to see more paint schemes with these rubber tires? My verdict is this. These cars are freaking awesome. They're so much better in person. And once you hold one of these cars in your hands, it really does feel like the 2000s all over again. Sure, it doesn't have the detailed interior and the, uh, you know, opening hood and trunk and X, Y, and Z. But it's okay. It's a closed cast die cast with rubber tires you can actually take off. The metal chassis, the quality, the box design, everything about it. Go get you one and tell me which one you got, fellas. Alrighty folks, what do y'all think? Are these diecasts epic? I personally think so. They got like, I think about 10 of them released right now, but they're gonna be releasing more. Chase Elliott's, Kyle Larson. I would not be surprised guys that the Alex Bowman, that the Kyle Larson ones get released before the normal ARC 164. So go crazy, go get you some. These things are freaking awesome, man. I love them. Um, and, and the options, man. You can, you know, drill out the base on these things. You can put them on any die cast. You can take Chase Elliott's uh, first race win car, you know, from Watkins Glen in 2018. You could probably paint the wheels on that. Put the rubber tires and just, boom, that would be really freaking cool. But absolutely, man, I think these things are totally worth the 15 bucks a piece. But, uh, yeah, like I said, fellas, you got that free shipping code. Hope that helps out a little bit there. But I really wanted to cover a lot of the different things about it. You know, to me, when I first opened it out of the box... I felt quality. I felt it just something about that the 2000s die cast. They had heavier bases to them with the rubber tires. Just something about it. I felt that with the 2021 metal die cast chassis, platinum elites, whatever you want to call it, man. But absolutely, man, they're freaking awesome. Um, I cannot wait to get the Chase Elliott ones. Like I said, there's no pre-order. So as soon as those things come off the boat or the the, the pallet or, or, or the low boy. <laughs> If you're from Texas, you know what a low boy is. But whatever they haul it off of, uh, then they'll have the die casts uh, on their website. So uh, make sure to uh, check that one out over there at Circle B. I would recommend um, they have an email deal. Just sign up on their website. They'll send you email. So as soon as that, that stuff shows up, you get an email, bam, you can get your order. And you're not going to be... You know, dealing with scalpers paradise, but um, yeah, I just want to do a little bit, a little bit of a video for y'all today. Um, trying out some different uh, camera angles. Uh, what do y'all think about it? You know, I just wanted to, I wanted to talk about these things, man. I'm so hyped about these um, elite diecast. Some people call them platinum. Some people call them metal chassis. To me, both of those are too, too long to say. Metal chassis diecast or platinum series diecast. I just want to call them an elite diecast because until they make it, uh, you know, bigger and better. It's an elite die case, but they are freaking awesome. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, uh, stay tuned, fellas. The NASCAR Duralabs Cup Series is coming up very soon. Very soon. Think about this, guys. July 29th. NASCAR Dry Cup Series Racing coming up very soon. That's going to be the Daytona Duels. Unscripted die cast racing. Any die cast can win. Cars can fly off the track unscripted. It's going to be fun. And, of course, that's how we'll set the field for August 1st, Daytona 500. Uh, season 4 of the NASCAR Drives Cup Series right around the corner. So I'll make sure to stay tuned for that. I'll have a video uh, with the entire uh, field coming up pretty soon. Not sure um, where some of the drivers will be because the, the diecast releases this year have been pretty slow. So I'm hoping uh, we get some uh, get some uh, Hendrick cars in stock uh, over here in the studio pretty quickly. But uh, anyways, 
Have a great one, folks. Thank you all so much for watching. Dynacast. Well, thank you. Signing off.